Crafty Caboodle. Let's get crafty today. Idea number one, we are gonna do a very pretty rose. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna fold over your napkin to make a triangle just like this. And now we're gonna go ahead and roll up the napkin. And I would say leave about three to five inches. So I'm gonna leave a good amount because this is where the leaves are gonna be. All right, now we're gonna roll it this way. So make sure to do it not too tight and not too loose. Okay, now with this little piece, we're gonna go ahead and tuck that in. That's what's gonna hold your flower together. Now we have these two pieces. We're gonna separate them. So these are gonna act like our leaves on the bottom. So you have two flaps. Okay, we're gonna flip it over. <gasps> How beautiful. And now you wanna bring it over and put it right on your plate or right next to it. How elegant does this look? I absolutely love this one. All right, napkin idea number two. We're gonna make an envelope. I really like this one as well. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna move it into like a diamond shape. We're gonna take this side and bring it to the middle. And same thing with this. So they are identical on the top right here. So if you want, you can even bring them a little bit closer if you want a smaller envelope. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna close off this section right here, little triangle, and now we're gonna bring this all the way up until it hits these two corners. So it looks like a house so far. So now you wanna bring this down like so. To close it off, I got these cute little heart stickers at Target. You can go ahead and place like a letter inside of this or a cute little note or some hearts. And then you can go ahead and just seal it. So, I mean, it's not too hard to take apart and it'll stay put. And now you can go ahead and place this on your plate. How awesome does this look? All right, now my second favorite is a heart, of course. So you start off with a square. You fold one piece, so this is in the middle, and the other one. So they're about the same size. Let's just move this one over a little bit, just like that. Now we're gonna fold this side on top. So it's a very elongated rectangle. Okay, now we're gonna find the middle, which is right here. So we're gonna go ahead and fold this over, nice and straight. And we're gonna do the same thing with this side. Fold it over and you want them to be the same length. Just gonna go ahead and press that down. All right, now we're gonna flip this over. All right, this is kind of like the tricky part. You grab this fold right here and you want kind of like these two flaps to be down. So you see this triangle right here? That's what you want and you wanna go ahead and just tuck this under, just like so, so it won't go anywhere now. You're gonna do the same thing on this side. So, we're just gonna create that triangle again right here and tuck this under. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the back, a little bit messy. When we flip it around, you wanna go ahead and just kind of work out the tops right here. And sometimes I do tuck in like the sides a little bit, make it look more rounded. See, I just kind of tucked them under. All right, and there's our napkin heart. You can bring it over on your plate, just like so. Maybe put like a little chocolate and now you have a heart. I really like this one too. All right, you guys, here are our three Valentine napkin creations. I wanna know which one you guys like. 
or which one you have tried. I think my favorite, I don't know, I really like them all. This rose looks very elegant though. This one's the fun one. You can put little notes inside of there. I also like the heart because it looks so Valentine's-y. I hope this video helps some of you out and until next time, happy Valentine's Day.